So you're trying to find the center of a circle? I'm going to show you my three favorite ways to do that. I'm Mike. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. A few years ago I made a video that got hundreds of thousands of views as people tried to figure out how to find the center of a circle. There were lots of great comments. I went through and tested all those different comments uh, to see what I like best. Came up with this. Take a look. Drawing a circle method number one. So thanks to Oz Skez, Skies, Oz Skies, S-K-E-S. Thanks to Oz for this method. Um, I quite like this one. So Oz recommends drawing a square. So to draw a square, you want to have a square. I'm going to get a point here, and then we got to get our same length on each of these two sides. So let's see, four and a half. Not quite, we're getting close though. Can be a little bit tricky to get it. There's four and five eighths on that side. Let's see, four and a half, four and five eighths on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my square here. Now, if this has been done right, when we spin it around here, we should be able to line these two points up again with four and five eighths, like so. And we should be able to finish that square. So with our square drawn, we can draw our diagonals and that's gonna hit the center. Like so. All right, next comes from Sooner Science Nerd. Thanks to Sooner Science Nerd for this suggestion. Um, the Sooner Science Nerd is using chords. So remember, a chord is just drawing between two edges of a circle. Take two points on a circle, draw a straight line. That's called a chord. Now I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to use chords that are lengths I can easily divide in half. So let's draw a four inch chord right here. Like so. And then at the half way point, the midpoint, I'm going to draw a line. And just for good measure over here, we'll do a six inch chord which would be three at the halfway. And for fun, we'll do five inches over here. And half of five inches is two and a half. So now we've got to draw 90 degree angles from each of these three points. Now you could use a square to do that. You've got a square like this, or you can find anything that's got a square. So in this case, I'm just going to use a piece of paper because that's going to be a nice 90 degree angle. Go like that. Do the same thing over here. Get my 90 degree angle and that should be our center. Take the 90 degree angle over here. And there we go. We got the center. Now we could have done that with just two chords, obviously. The third one is just a check, kind of making sure that they all come together nicely. So, thank you Sooner Science Nerd for that suggestion. Okay, and then we've got uh, JC130676 recommends this way. This is my third uh, preferred way to find the center of a circle. We're going to be cutting out a template with a piece of paper. I'm going to throw something down I can cut on. And you can do this in one of two ways. You can either draw the line and use some scissors. Or instead of drawing the line on this one, I'm just going to use a knife. Obviously be really sure you're not cutting yourself. I'm going to follow around this. Keep my angle. 
Looks like I'm cutting the circle down a little bit. But if I've done this well, my paper ought to just come right up. Got a little bit to trim off over here. And there we go. Let me put the cover back on the knife. And now, with this template, we're going to quarter it. So, if I get my edges lined up nice and neat, fold it in half that way, fold it in half another way. And then if I take and JC130676 suggests just cut the edge of my circle, I've got a template. So, get that thing all lined up nice around the edges, I believe. And there's the center of my circle. So, I hope you found that helpful, checking out these different ways to find the center of a circle. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. Please subscribe, leave some comments. If you've got some other ways that you prefer better, leave some notes. Maybe we'll try and learn some more good tricks in the future. Um, please share this, like the video, subscribe, and have a great day.